My name is Lauren Stein. I'm improv extraordinaire. I think I'm pretty super awesome. So, um, except in that picture. Um, you're probably thinking, why are you single? Well, it's because uh, I'm amazingly awesome, but most guys are kind of awesome. But I want guys to be, like, super amazingly awesome, and that is what this presentation is about. Has any of you ever heard of improv? Good, so you know what it's like to make up stuff on the spot. But did you know that makes you a better person? It will make you a total hunk. Like the hunkiest hunk ever. Okay, and I'm going to explain why. So it's, uh, you become like Ken. And that's what every woman wants. Am I right, ladies? No? Yes? Okay. Um, why? Because somebody who improvises is somebody who has more confidence, who is better at making eye contact and connecting and just stands firmly. The life of the party, like Steve Urkel here. Everybody wants to be around somebody who can, like, drop stuff and know exactly what to say, and that is, did I do that? You know, you just re react in the, mo in the moment. All right. <laughs> also, not only that, improvisers are better listeners. Like this guy, my dad. <laughs> not literally, but if you've seen my dad. Anyway, um, and somebody who's more attuned to listening to me, I'm more attracted to because then I feel like really valued and important. Um, because when you improvise, you have to pick up on every single clue and go with it. And likewise, you're good at picking up on social clues. Is that person uh, proposing to me? Or did they drop something? Like, it could be really awkward if you misinterpret what they're doing. Just not from personal experience, but I'm just saying. So reading social cues is a good thing that you'll be able to do if you're used to being in scenes with people where you read everything that they're doing. You'll also be really good at focusing. Are you guys, you guys okay? You're still on the ball here? Focus? Focus? Okay, good. Because um, then you'll be able to pick up on what's going on and react to it. And how does this happen? Has anybody ever heard of yes and? These are super words you should really add to your vocabulary. Why? So the yes is yes, that's true. If I say there's a monkey on this um, stage, then you say yes, there's a monkey and, and the monkey is jumping up and down and hungry for a banana. And the more you add to it, the more the scene continues. And we just build and build until you're so flexible. You can handle anything I throw at you. And if I say all of a sudden, this monkey is gonna eat your brains, You'll know you gotta run and scream or talk to it because you know how to calm it down by doing a Steve Urkel impression, right? Somebody who's flexible like that, I'm gonna be a lot more attracted to. I wanna spend more time with. You know where. Also, <laughs> if you can think of five things you would say to a monkey if it were on the stage right now, at least one of them would be like super hilarious and positive. And these guys are great at turning anything into something super happy and positive. Yay, the murderous babysitter is here. Maybe we'll have our chance to survive. Uh, and doing these things will help you be really in the moment, really zen, because you can react to anything and you can just handle anything by living in the moment. And you could probably be more in touch with your own emotions. How many of you guys are really in touch with how you're feeling right now? At least one guy. All right, I'll talk to you later. So if you're in touch with them, you can express them pretty well, right? And help people read their social cues. And in turn, you'll be re better at reading people's emotions. Because if you don't know whether I'm disgusted right now or kind of turned on, that could be a problem. <laughs> well, when you're in scenes a lot and you know how to express your emotions and read your scene partners and respond in the moment, then man, your skills, your, your hot catch. That's all I'm saying. Does anybody know what these ninjas are doing? Can anybody tell me a story about the ninjas? Come on. All right, well, this one is like falling. And that one's supreme. And that whatever I just said was right. You know why? Because there are no mistakes. No mistakes in improv. You don't have to worry about breaking eggs.
because everything you say is right and will be supported. You are the expert in the make-believe world where everything is made up and points don't matter, quote Drew Carey. But really, in improv scenes, there are no mistakes, there's only justifying every mistake, which means your goal is to make your scene partners look good. Your goal is to make other people look good, and in turn, their goal is to make you look good. And imagine if you walked around with that attitude, instead of being all self-conscious and nervous all the time, like when you're on stage, you'll say, you know what, everyone wants me to look good, and I, in turn, want them to realize how funny I am, so we're here to help each other. And when you do that, you can jump anywhere and someone will catch you. You can stand on stage and say any stupid thing and someone else will justify why that's right. And you in turn will catch them. And we will create a universe in which everything we say and do is to help each other out. And as a result, you will become a superhero. You'll be able to read minds and communicate anything. And isn't that what we all want at the end of the day? To be able to be understood and to understand everyone around us? I think so. So this guy, he didn't say, oh, working out, I did that once in high school. Why do so many people say to me, improv, I did that once in high school, I'm good, I'm good for life. No, he goes to the gym like every week, probably more than once a week. <laughs> and you too should do improv regularly. Uh, one of many things I would recommend is every Monday night I teach improv at, on Kensington Avenue. And uh, come see me for more information, much better than checking internet, because I'm a person, and I like person-to-person -person connection, and I think that's part of what this whole interactive conference is about. Thank you.